Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be doing another Shein winter haul. It's kind of like spring slash winter, more winter because I have a lot of coats and jackets, but I do have a lot of pieces in today's video. So we're gonna get right into it. I do have some shoes and bags to show you guys really quick because I feel like I haven't had those in my videos in a minute. So I'm gonna show you guys those. And then of course we're gonna move on to the voiceover clothing portion of the video. So first up we have this bag right here. And as you can see, it is like a faux leather mixed with like a teddy coat material. And I have a jacket in this video that I plan to pair with this bag, which you guys will see in that portion of the video. But this bag is so freaking cute. I love it. The structure of it is really nice. I love the way it just looks. The contrast of the two prints or materials is really, really nice. And it does have a crossbody strap on the inside. You guys know when you open it up, it has the crossbody strap and then like the filler and stuff like that. But yeah, it has a decent amount of space as well. So I really, really love this bag. So next up we have this tote and you guys know I love freaking totes. And this one is really, really cool because it's like a quilted like patent leather material. And I just love the way that this looks. I love how big it is because usually totes on Shein, they're hit or miss. They're either like not totes, they're not big enough to be a tote in my opinion, or they're really, really big. And this one is a really good size. It's not as huge as I like a tote to be, but it is a really nice size. And I just like the way it looks. You see how it catches the light? It looks really, really nice. And yeah, nothing too crazy about this. I just thought it was a really cool bag to have for the cooler months to wear with like full leather looks, puffer coats, stuff like that. This is a really, really cool bag. So yeah. So next up, I'm not really sure exactly why I got this, but it is really cute. It is like a Teddy full leather mix fanny pack. It actually looks like it could be like a crossbody too, but I just really like the colors in this. I don't really have anything to wear with this, but I just really like the way that the colors look together. So I just picked it up. So next up we have this really cute faux fur bag and it's this really pretty like green and then it has like this grayish tone to it. This is so pretty to me. I have nothing, okay, to wear with this, but it is a fire bag, okay? It does come with a crossbody strap, but it's on the inside. It is the darker green color that is on the side. And as you can see on the bottom as well and this i believe did come in another color but i just thought that this one was so unique and i just really like it a lot it's very soft too as you can probably tell but this one is definitely a fave i have to find something to wear with this because i really like this bag and i want to wear it before it gets too warm because then it's not going to make sense anymore so yeah this one is super duper cute so next up this is probably my favorite bag in this video because I love the style of this. I love the way it looks. I love the color. I just love everything. I love the material. It's like a puffer coat material in a bag, which I really like. And I just love the design. I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for something, but I can't think of what it is. But this is so freaking cute. So cute. Imagine this with like a puffer coat and a really cute, like simple fit underneath the puffer coat with this on. I was in love with it when I seen it on the website, but now that I have it in person, it's so much better. Like, it's so much better. So this is definitely a fave. So cute. I love this. So next up is a bag that I've showed you guys in a previous collective haul. I literally got this bag in like a rust color and like an olive green. And I finally went ahead and got the black one because those are two of my favorite bags, okay? I wear those bags all the time. I love all the different compartments. The bag is just really cute and trendy, obviously. So I really like this. So I had to get it in the black one too. So I have it now in black, rust and olive green and also like a really light off white color. So yeah, this is definitely a staple. If you don't have a bag like this, I definitely recommend it because these are like the perfect go to everyday bags for me personally, because I like to throw my change in here, my debit cards, just the quick stuff I need to get to real quick, you know? So yeah, I love this bag. So that was the last bag I have, and I have two pairs of boots in this video. So the very first pair are these black boots, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan. I don't really like this material. It's not my favorite, and also when it comes to black boots, 
I like for the bottoms to be black, so it's like blacked out. I really don't like this color underneath. It's just tacky to me. I feel like why not make the bottom black too so it could be like a nice sleek black boot. But yeah, I don't really care for these too much, but I did get them in a Euro 41 and that translates to like a US 9, sometimes a 10. It just depends on the shoe on Shein. But like I said, I don't really care for the bottom like that. Not a huge fan. Okay, so next up we have probably my new favorite pair of boots that I own. I absolutely love these boots. They are so sexy, okay? These are so fire. And like I said in previous videos, I've been obsessed with brown lately. So this right here, y'all, these boots are so sexy, so grown woman, just so nice. Like these are some really nice boots and the brown is just so rich and chocolatey. Oh, these are so, so sexy. Oh my gosh, I love these freaking boots. I do have another pair of brown boots, but these are like perfect. They're perfect as far as the color. They're perfect as far as the material. There's no texture. My other brown boots are croc embossed. So I feel like they can only go with certain things. But now that I have these, y'all, mm -mm, mm, these are so fire. So that was the very last accessory I have in today's video. So as usual, we're gonna move on to the clothing, which is voiceover because I have so much stuff to show you guys. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting off, we have this really cute plaid, like off the shoulder, super slouchy button down. And this is in a really pretty gray color with black and white. And this I got because I really like the style of these shirts. I've had like five shirts like this from Shein and I just love the way they fit. This I got in a large and I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't fit as oversized as I'd like it to fit, but it's still a really cute top and I would definitely still rock it. Definitely off the shoulder like this or like the model in the photo. So next up we have this really cute long sleeve turtleneck and this is such a, I just love it, okay? I love the whole design at the top. It looks very like chic, very sleek. I obviously wouldn't wear it with these jeans, but this is literally what I had right next to me on the floor. So I just put them on, but this I got in a size small and it's very stretchy. As you can see, it has a little mesh panel right there. So you can kind of see my tattoo. And I really love this. Like, I feel like this needs to be worn with like all black. So black bottoms, black shoes or boots or something with a black coat and then like a red lip. That would be so fire, okay? So fire. So you guys will be definitely seeing this very, very soon. Next up is something super random, but I got it for a very specific reason. And now that I have it, I literally can't even find the bottoms that I was gonna wear with this. So I don't even know if I'm gonna do anything with this, but I got this in a size small. It's really cute. It's a clearly a corset and it does have some stretch on the back portion of it. So it's a very comfortable fit. So with that being said, if you wanted to size down, I feel like you probably could, especially if you have something to actually hold it up. I definitely would say size down because the back might be a little bit too loose and there's no like adjustable areas. So I would definitely say size down in this one. I got a size small. I don't know if it comes in an extra small, but if it does, I would have preferred a extra small in this. But yeah, this is something super random. Definitely not weather appropriate, but still. So next up, I have these two items. And these aren't necessarily items that I wear together. I just put them on together. So this top is very different, very, very unique. It is like a, it has shoulder pads, number one. And it's like a faux leather, croc emboss, and then it has the lace up at the bottom. It's a lot going on, okay? This I got in a size medium and I like it, but it's also something about it that I don't like. I don't know what it is exactly. And then with it, I just put on these brown faux leather pants and these are fire, okay? They look like melted chocolate on my legs. Like it looks so cute. And these I got in a size medium. They are a tiny bit loose, but I feel like a small would have been too small. So I'm glad I got a medium, but I really do like these pants a lot. And like I said, I wouldn't pair these two items together because they don't really go, but it is still really cute pieces on their own. And you'll definitely be seeing these pants, but I don't know about this top, sis. Okay, so next up we have a very similar concept as the last outfit. 
but this top is a little bit different and also as you can see it's a different color than the actual photo on the website which is the case for a lot of the stuff on Shein and then these pants I absolutely love them they literally look just like the photo that's like a first I was expecting them to be either a little bit darker or a little bit lighter but these pants I got in a size small and this top I got in a size medium I would not wear these together necessarily but just for the sake of this video and time <laughs> I paired them together but I really love these two pieces. This top, I'm gonna have to figure something out because I'm not liking the way the girlies are looking. You know, they look, a little, they look a little sad in this, but these pants fit me perfectly and I'm definitely gonna be rocking these really, really soon. I've been obsessed with like faux leather pants in all these different colors, so I had to cop these. So next up, I'm not exactly sure what possessed me to get these pants, but like I said, I've been obsessed with like faux leather pants and these are a little bit more on the shiny side. Um, they are actually really nice and they fit really well. I got these in a medium and they do zip up on the side if you guys can see that zipper. I just paired it with this top because I was looking for something real quick to throw on with this. But yeah, this top you guys seen in a previous haul. So yeah, this I do like, but I would have to find the perfect top to wear with this. I would not wear a top like this flannel with these pants. I feel like these pants need a very particular type of top to go with it, but I just did it for the sake of the video, of course. But they make the booty look okay. You know, sis ain't working with too much these days, but it looks good, okay? And I really do like these. I'm very surprised that they're not super unflattering in the front like most of these pants are, but yeah, I'm feeling them. Okay, so next up we have a top that's very similar to the brown top that I showed you except this one is a long sleeve and black and this one is also croc embossed which I really like this one I got in a size large and I actually like it a lot better than the brown one I feel like this one's a lot more flattering on me and these pants I absolutely love I have no intention of wearing these two together but they actually don't look too bad together it may be too much with the croc print and then the ruching I don't know but these pants I got in a size small and despite how tight they may look I think I could have gotten away with an extra small because in the stomach area it's quite loose but you can't tell because of the ruching so I think I may go back and see if they have an extra small and get the extra small because I really like these pants and I want them to fit as tight as possible okay and they look really good on the little booty that I do got okay so I really like these pants a lot and they would look really cute with heels or sneakers and yeah this one is definitely a favorite in this video. So next up we have this top which is I love it I freaking love this top as you can see it has like a bodysuit type of look in the front so basically like a bodysuit without the snaps at the bottom and these cargo pants which I'm not really sure if I actually like them. I do like them. I like the color and everything. As you can see, the photo is much darker than it is in person, which is usually the case. But these pants I got in a size large and I like them, but it's something about the way they feel on that I just, I don't know what it is. And they're also a little bit short. So I did pair them with some boots, which I think is the cutest way to pair bottoms that are too short, especially cargo pants. So these pants I'm definitely not 100% sold on, but this top, I absolutely love it. I did get this top in a size medium and I really like the way it fits. At first, it kind of looks weird because it almost looks as if it should be buttoned at the bottom. But once you get over that, it's really, really cute. So next up we have this brown bodycon turtleneck dress. And I already knew that I was gonna love this because it's brown and it's, it's just very classic. It's something that never gets old. And I definitely feel like this is something I need in literally every single color that they have. This I got in a size small and it fits really well. Surprisingly, it's not see-through. I can't see my bra, like you could see the outline of my bra, but you can't see it. And then you also can't see my underwear. So these are definitely not see-through. I don't know about all the colors, but this one isn't. And I just, I freaking love this, okay? This is it. As you can see, the length on me is mid calf and I'm like 5'7", so if you are shorter, it'll definitely be longer. And if you're taller, it'll definitely be shorter. 
So just keep that in mind. This would look super cute with some heels, maybe even some booties. I don't know. So next up, we have this dress and I like it on the model, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of this top portion of the dress on me. It's very small. So I got the dress in an extra small because that's what size I am. But these shoulder pads are so narrow, it looks really weird. Because I have such broad shoulders, this is not doing it for me, okay? Maybe a small in the top of the dress would fit better, but then the bottom would have been too big. So this dress is just not for me, clearly. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with the dress. It's just not flattering on me personally, but the dress itself is really nice. So next up we have this button down and I've had my eye on these for a little while. I've been loving these like button down shirts. You guys know I've styled a few of them in the past on my Instagram and I've just been wanting to get like all the colors I can find. So I'm gonna start with this really pretty olive green and this I got in a size large and as you can see it fits very, very nicely or for me it fits very nicely in oversized and I will probably pair it very chill like this or if I could figure out a way to dress it up I definitely would but I really love this shirt it needs to be steamed okay or ironed but it's still really nice I'm pretty sure this shirt came in like four other colors so now that I have this one I think I'm gonna go and get the other ones because I actually really like the material of this shirt it's very light and airy so it's perfect for spring so this right here is very thick. Okay, so this is straight up wool, okay? It's very itchy on the inside. Let's start there, it's very itchy. But if you wear a long sleeve or a sweater or something underneath, you should be fine. But this I got in a size large and I really love these, I believe they're called shackets. If that's not, is that, is that right, shackets? Yeah, I think this is called a shacket. But um, that sounds really weird. The more that I say it but anyways this is really nice I love the color in this I would definitely wear this with all black I think that'd be such a nice look or you can kind of like you know make it a little bit more cash and wear like a graph tee or a tee underneath and some jeans or some sweats I love these shackets because you can dress them literally up or down like all the way down or all the way up like you could go from sweats and a tank underneath this during the day to a really tight form-fitted bodycon at night like this is everything the only thing i'll say is wear something that has sleeves because this bad boy is itchy okay itchy 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 yeah yeah da da so one thing that i like to do on shein as you guys know which i haven't done in a while is go in the men's section okay if you want something to fit like oversized okay Go to the men's section. So I found this really, really, really cute flannel. I'm obsessed with it. I love these colors together. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is obviously from the men's section. I got this in a extra, extra large, if I'm not mistaken. And I love how comfortable it feels like. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it feels as comfortable as it looks like. It's very slouchy. Like, I can't explain, it's just more room in the sleeves. Like, just don't sleep on the men's section. I know y'all know this, but sometimes I be forgetting, so I know y'all be forgetting too. Go into the men's section and look, just look, okay? You will find something, I promise you, you will. I love this top, this is probably like my favorite top in this video. So next up, we have another shacket, okay? And this one I really like. I really love the way that it looks in the picture. It pretty much looks the same in person as well as far as color. It's pretty spot on for once. This I got in a size large and this fits very, very slouchy, very comfortably. I really love the colors. I love the pattern on this. This one, despite how itchy it may look, is actually not itchy at all. I was expecting it to be like the first shacket that I showed you, but this one is actually very, very soft on the inside. So that's amazing. This I love because I don't know. I just love the, it kind of has like a bat wing almost fit at the top. So it's very roomy. Like it's a lot of room in here. Like two people could fit in here. Okay. This I feel like is on the more dressier side of shackets. So I would definitely do this one a little bit more dressed up as opposed to casual. 
I don't really, I don't know if I like it with this top and these jeans. It's just looking a little too casual for me. So I would definitely dress this one up, but the other one that I showed you is definitely more of a casual jacket. So here we have another one. And this one I was absolutely in love with when I seen this photo. I do like it now that I have it in person, but the only thing is I got it in a size medium because a large was sold out. And although it's very long and it fits, like it, it fits, the sleeves are just not long enough for me personally. Like you can see that the sleeve goes all the way down to my wrist, but it's still too short. Like the way that it feels on me feels too short, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of sad about that because I really like this. And this one's very long. Like this one goes pretty much to my ankles. This one is really nice. But like I said, I wish I could have gotten a large just for the sleeves. But as far as the length, it's, it's long as hell. So if you do size down, it will still be long, but I think the sleeves will get shorter. <laughs> so next up is a fail. Okay, so in the photo, it looks very luxe, very expensive, okay? Very just quality and this is not giving me what I need. I don't like the way this fits. I got it in a large and I know that's my fault because I knew that a large was gonna be too big, but the way it looked on the model, I was like, well, hers is oversized, so that means mine may look good too, but no. This material looks very cheap, very flimsy, just not, not like the picture. I would love for it to be more structured, more of a stiff material so that it looks structured, but this is just very wrinkly, as you can see, and it's just not doing it for me. So next up we have a denim jacket, and I actually really, really like this. I love the color, I love the shape of it. I love how the bottom of the jacket kind of tapers in a little bit. I didn't notice that in the picture, but now that I have it on, and when you button the bottom, it just looks really cute. Like, I love the way this looks. I love this color, it's perfect, okay? Like, this color is perfect. I got this in a large, and I really like the way that this fits. It's not super oversized, and I really like the way that it looks with jeans. I feel like this will look really cute with really any type of bottoms, open or closed. I really do like it closed, though, because it gives you a little bit of shape down in the waist area, but yeah. I don't really have much to say about this except for the fact that I really like it and you should get this, okay? You should get this because it's real cute. It's even cuter in person than it is in the picture. So yeah. So this one, I'm not a huge fan. I like the color, but I think because the last one fits so well and the bottom was a little tapered, this one just feels really boxy. So I'm not really feeling this one. I got it in a large, and I like it, it fits, but something is, something is off, okay? Something is off, I don't know. But yeah, this one is also a lot thinner than the last one. The last one was a little bit heavier in denim, so the quality felt a little bit better. This one feels really light, dare I say cheap, but yeah. So next up, I freaking love this, okay? I absolutely love it. I do wish that I got it in a medium instead of a large, but I still do like it. I seen this in my girl, Kayla Cakes Shein Haul, and she is the queen of Shein Hauls, okay? If you guys do not watch her Shein Hauls, you need to, because if y'all like mine, y'all will love hers. But this is so cute, okay? You guys see the structure at the top. Clearly it has shoulder pads. This is a statement piece. What I'm gonna wear with this, I couldn't tell you that right now, but just know that it's gonna be a look, okay? I'll probably have this piece all the way until the end of the year before I actually actually wear it, but just know you'll see it in the future, okay? So next up is probably my favorite jacket ever, ever, okay? I know it's just a simple biker jacket, but this is probably the most beautiful red I've ever seen in my entire life. It's so vibrant. It's so, it's like true red. Like it's so pretty, you guys. 
this camera is not picking picking it up at all like the way the eye sees this in person is just unreal but this I got an extra large and I'm in love when I tell you this jacket is literally my favorite jacket in years I know that sounds crazy because I have so many favorite jackets but this is just beautiful and I love motorcycle jackets and the fact that I now have this beautiful vibrant red one I'm obsessed so next up we have this aviator style jacket and I really liked it in the photo and the model looks cute okay sis you look good but they didn't have a large and every time they don't have a large I always know that I'm setting myself up for failure because I know it's not gonna fit me like I want it to so as you can see it fits but in person the way that it feels the sleeves are too short for me I just me and my sleeves like I, I just can't deal like it looks too short to me or compared to the model look at the picture of the model and then look at me now ma'am so next up we have this puffer jacket and as you can see the color that is showing up on camera is actually a lot brighter than it is in person it's actually very similar to the, the photo I don't know why it's coming off very bright pink but this is so cute and it's something that I wasn't expecting to like as much because it's a color that I don't have anything to wear with but I really do like this a lot it is very very cute this I got in a large and it's one of those really like cropped puffer puffy coats like it's so feminine so girly I love this so I definitely have to find something to wear with this like ASAP because this is so cute so next up we have another puffer and this one I really like the marble print and also the colors I actually like the color in person more than I do in the photo the photo makes it look very dark almost black but in person it's more of like a charcoal gray and I really love the pattern on here I love this design like I don't even know what it is I think it's marble but I love the color I love the way this fits the puffer on here isn't like super puffy but it's a comfortable puffy low-key might go back and look for those pants that the model had on because I really like this print so next up is a fave okay you guys know I've, I've just been loving brown everything that's brown I just love it and also you guys know I love puffer coats so a brown puffer coat is like match made in heaven so this I got in a size large and it fits really well it's very big it fits exactly the way that I wanted to and this is something that I might have to save for next winter because it's not that cold here anymore it has its moments but the way the weather is looking it's looking like it's just gonna get warmer and warmer so hopefully I'll be able to rock this but if not this is going in the archives for next winter but this is so so comfortable it's so soft it's warm I just love this you guys seriously don't sleep on Shein's puffer coats jackets whatever all right so we are down to our last item and certainly last but not least we have this beautiful 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 green coat and this I absolutely love the color I love this like pastel lime it's just so pretty so so pretty this I got in a size large and the material is really nice as well I love the way that this fits I love the way that this looks I have to wear this ASAP okay this is so freaking pretty like I feel like honestly you probably could get away with wearing this in spring because of the color so maybe I might save it hold on to it so that'll give me time to come up with a really really fire outfit to wear with this so I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you guys want more Shein hauls like this I plan to do so many this year and I want to start to switch up the themes a little bit and do like lookbooks and themed videos like specific colors or maybe specific items like jackets pants whatever so let me know down below if you guys want like categorized Shein videos where it's like a very specific item I guess in the video or maybe like a lookbook or something like that definitely let me know and thumbs up this video let's get her to 5,000 likes for your girl okay for more Shein hauls more hauls in general okay 
but I know y'all love Shein hauls. So definitely let me know if you want more of these and also be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I just made a Twitter. So I'm gonna be posting looks on Twitter that I don't post on Instagram because you guys know I always post like my work and stuff on Instagram and on Twitter. I just wanna be able to post, you know, whatever I want. So definitely follow me over there if you guys wanna see some exclusive content. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.